The concepts of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math are being taught to children ages five and younger in a new interactive program that makes learning fun. Joining us to talk about the newly launched Little Leapers program is Mary Hassler. Mary is the director of the Harford County Public Library System and Lisa Henkel. Lisa is the senior director of operations for Celebrate Learning Centers, the title sponsor of the program. Uh, welcome. Thank welcome you. Back. Welcome back. Thank you. Long time, it's Lisa. great to be here. How does the program work and when does it start? Well, we're thrilled to announce that we're launching Little Leapers next Wednesday, March 27th at 10 a.m. to the public. Yes. And Little Leapers, it's a series of kits that children and their parents can check out mm -hmm. from the public library free of charge, and they consist of the various science themes. And the whole point of Little Leapers is combining pre- and early literacy skill building with science and technology and engineering and math themes. So the kits are from birth to age five, and each kit can be borrowed for seven days and there are a variety of themes such as I'd like to be an architect mm -hmm. or I'd like to be a botanist okay. or I'd like to be a chemist. How are those specific professions or areas of study chosen? Well, we have a team back at the library of, of educators and librarians who are take STEM very seriously at the public library. And this is a, um, a backup of our LEAP program, which we established a few years ago for our elementary age school children. So we have the experience of pulling kits together for older children to check out. And we talked about what would be fun, what is a natural experience mm -hmm. for our little ones okay. to have in their communities. So we talked about baby animals, shapes, colors, their senses, their world all around them. And then we also went into the basic sciences such as chemistry, design, um, things like that. You can also be an entomologist mm -hmm. or a paleontologist if you would like. Nice. And each kit really touches on the different components of STEM. And how how critical, Lisa, do you think it will be for young people to to have an opportunity to experience this? What what types of results might parents see? We think it's vital to get to these types of resources that the library is providing into the hands of early and pre-literacy children so that they build a foundation for learning going forward. This is the first introduction that some of these children will have to STEM, right. and we really want them to enjoy it and embrace how fun these different topics can be. It, I, I tell you something, I'm an adult and this stuff looks cool to me. I'd like to put it on right now. <laughs> uh, talk about some of the things we see here. Absolutely. What's this a kit for? Is this a combination or just one kit here? This is one kit here. Okay. And this is, I would like to be an entomologist mm. kit. And we've I mean, all been studying bugs. Studying bugs, insects, um, and nature itself. Okay. So in each kit, we have, oh, in this particular kit, we have your net so you can go out and catch your butterflies. Wow, look at that. Um, I'll put that down before I do any damage. <laughs> uh, we also have a, a set of binoculars where you can examine your insects. Yes. And then we also have magnifiers, different types. Wow. So you can get up, you get, if you, you don't want to harm it, but you can get a bug inside exactly. of that. Exactly. You wow. can get a bug inside of that. This is one. Wow. Then you have your smaller one. So if you're doing your, if you put your little jacket on and you mm -hmm. go out in the field, you can actually look while you're walking through the field with right. mom or dad or your caregiver or at nursery school or at Celebrate. Mm -hmm. We also have insect samples. Look at that. So I've never actually held one of these before in my, my life. It's beautiful, by the way. Um, isn't it beautiful? The colors this, are just gorgeous. This is they? a uh, rose chafer. It looks like some type of beetle. Beetle. I wow. would imagine. Beautiful. Wow, amazing. And then in each kit, we do have a guide for uh, the adult, too. Okay. It gives a hit, hints and tips on vocabulary building mm -hmm. and observation, because it's all about observation when you're, you know, one of the little folks. Right. And then we also have a little outfit that you can wear. Mm -hmm. So, Kai, we brought you the hat if you would like to wear that <laughs> I'll, I'll sometime. put it on. And, Lisa, Celebri is the um, is the sponsor of this for your organization. Why, why was it important to... Uh, my head's a little big, but hey, what do you think? <laughs> we like it. Why it's was, awesome. Why was it important to to be a partner with the Harford County Library System on this project. We've been partnering with the Harford County Library System for quite some time, but this project really spoke to us because it's very much in alignment with what we believe children need okay. to build a foundation of solid learning. Right. Um, we want to protect, educate, and nurture, and, and this does that not just for our own students, but for the community at large, and that's very, very important to us. Mary, look, I, I, yes. I don't need to tell you or Lisa, you, you know, after people see this segment today, 
you're going to have some some of your fellow library colleagues around the state very envious of this program. Is it possible that this could spread to other library systems around the state? We hope to. Our original LEAP program has been a model for other library systems. Okay. And it's frequently we do get asked if we can prepare the kits for the older children. Right. This is something we would certainly carry and talk about at American Library Association, which we're very active in, right. and do presentations on to help other systems figure out how to develop the curriculum and the content. Lisa, you are the sponsors. Who Who is the maker of, of these, these kits, these products we see for those who might be interested in contacting them directly? Well, you'd have to contact us. We are the okay. original content makers of the kits. We really? hand select each item that goes in each kit. We hand select the books, the puzzles, the materials, the AV that goes into the kits, and we de develop the original curriculum that goes with it. Harford County Library yes. System leading the way in the state of Maryland. Exactly. I'm impressed, Not just Mary. the state of Maryland, in the whole in Country. Nation, in the whole country. Is, this is the very first? Yes, it is the very first. Wonderful. Wonderful. Very good. We appreciate you coming on and talking about this, and we certainly look forward to um, to people coming out to the library system and uh, checking out the kits. How long are they able to check the kits out for? You'll be able to check out the kit for seven days. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, At any of the 11 branches. Okay. That's correct. Well, thank you both. We appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank for you. more information on the Harford County Public Library's Little Leapers program, go to their website, hcplonline.org.